Hello and welcome to what is now episode 12 of Need for Speed Porsche 2000. We have now done two Golden Era events so far and we've still got many more to go. Our next one is going to be the 944 trophy before we head over to our Class 2 tournament because, well... I figure, let's get our next one make event over with. That's not where I went. That's not where I wanted to be. I wanted to be in the used car section. Okay, so used cars. And I know precisely which car it is I want to use. If I can find it. And here it is. I'm going to use the Porsche 944 S2 Coupe from 1989. It is a Class 2 car and it has an age of three races. So that is the car I'm going to purchase. And I'm also going to change the colour of this thing because, well, I figured since I can afford it I might as well put a different colour on this thing once I can find it. There it is. Okay. And the colour I'm going to get this thing in is... Yeah, that looks to be purple. That's basically indigo. This looks to be violet, so... That's what I'm going to do. Get this thing in purple. I've also decided, well, I'm now going to go back to the weekend races and do the 944 trophy, which takes place at Scotland Harbour. And going to use the S2. Fairly reasonable condition altogether. Of course, I'm not going to waste my money on repairing it yet because I now know after three failed attempts of trying to record this already we are driving Scotland Harbour at night and whilst the weather is clear this track is by no means easy it's basically a green hell that is not the Nürburgring at least that's how it feels. It feels like a green hell that isn't the Nürburgring, except for the town. Three, two, one, go! Also, I think the engine itself was revving before. I think that might just be a game mechanic, but the engine itself was actually revving before I even pressed X. I'm going to assume that must be a game mechanic somewhat. But anyway. I also figured, well, qualifying did briefly help me before. Even though my attempts at best were mediocre. I did manage to start further up than last at least. And I figured, well, because this track is so tight and is a tight racetrack with a highly unpredictable car because you basically have no idea when or where the car is going to roll. I figured it was easier for me to do qualifying with this thing because then maybe I can actually manage to think about my race strategy. And this time I managed to pull off a legitimate pass. You've beaten a lap record for this track. It's the final lap. And apparently I've also beaten the lap record officially, but it's also gonna come down to me not making too many mistakes, which at this stage I can confidently say 
I've made a lot of. But either way, I figured I'd qualify just because this might make this easier. It's also because, well, I actually set a time where the car didn't have a very huge accident or just roll over whilst I was setting the lap and maybe this time I might be able to get the race itself nailed, hopefully. I should not have shifted down there. But anyway, I stick it on pole. Oh, and apparently I qualify third regardless. Well, at least I can say I didn't wreck myself that time, so... It's better than starting last, at least. And I guess that would explain why I've been struggling so much, because... Apparent as it might be, the 944 Turbo is clearly the best car of the bunch. By quite some margin, I might add. Anyway, let's try this again. Three, two, one, go! And where hopefully this time around, I may have a stronger opportunity now to potentially win this race if I do not make too many mistakes. It's also pretty clear to say the Turbo is arguably the best car of the bunch. Oh, and I just racked him. Although he basically racked himself before I went into him. There's also a reason why I opted not to put in the repair costs, because if I did, then I would have to go back and do him again, and again, and again, and again, and again, and again, and again, until I actually succeed with this. And I'm really starting to wonder if I should have chosen the turbo for this, because apparent as it might be, the S2 so far is getting around this course very poorly at the present time. Well, at least I can say it's three laps, not two, so... Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. Why am I so terrible at this? What the fuck is actually wrong with me? Why am I so terrible at this? Why am I literally this far off the pace? Yeah, something tells me this strategy is not going to work. Unless I somehow get lucky and don't rack myself again. But somehow, at the moment, that is proving to be impossible, because I am basically wrecking myself everywhere I go. And not just because I have a car that's considerably off the pace. It's the final lap. But I'm somehow still in contention for this thing, regardless of my ineptitude. I will honestly be amazed if this does turn out to be the winning attempt. Oh, and I think it just rolled. I think it just rolled over. Now I just need the now I just need the leader to roll over, and then I can potentially retake the lead in this thing. Although in saying that, he is currently pulling away. Although as I say that, I'm closing in on him again. This race is so unpredictable that it's honestly going to be too difficult to call who is or isn't going to win this race. And that's a wall. Well, I guess that means I'm not going to have to restart because I've actually managed to win it this time. You set a new course and lap record. Congratulations, you won the race. That was probably the hardest race. I've run in this entire game. And I'm not even joking when I say that. That probably has to be the hardest race I've run for basically this entire game so far. Because 
because oh my god, this fucking race. Well, at least I won it in the end, and that's all I care about. Even if I won it by only half a second. But whatever, don't care, moving on. The race is done. And that now means we can move on to our next event. I'm also pretty sure I'm going to have to conduct plenty of repair costs. But still, so far, this has no doubt been the hardest race I've had to run for basically this entire game so far. Because of how many times I failed to just get the momentum going. Anyways, heading over to my garage. I'm also going to put some repair costs on this thing because I need to. Yeah. There's some pretty significant damage on this thing. I also might have established what car it is I'm going to be using for the next event as well. Which is, I would like to say, is probably going to be the Class 2 tournament. Before we get on with our second two events. So, there it is. The 944 trophy, and part of the reason I succeeded is because I qualified. And I did manage to win out in the end, even though it came down purely to luck. But either way, I still won the race, regardless of what happened, and that's all I care about. So with that, we now move on to the Class 2 Tournament, coming up next.